What's up, Mary of Nazareth? This is Mr. Rice, back again for your last weekly update video of the year. I'm going to miss all of you over the summer. I'm going to miss making these weekly update videos. We'll see. Hopefully, in the fall, we'll be back in person, so I don't have to make these videos anymore. Maybe I'll make some videos anyway. Maybe we can make some videos together come next year. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, but for this last video, because I wanted to show all of you what creative people you are, I decided just to devote the whole video to showing some of your awesome work you sent me for that stop motion assignment. So I've been looking through trying to find all of them. If I didn't see yours, please just ask your parents to shoot me an email because I want to see them, but with 400 of y'all, it can be hard to find everything in my Google Classroom, which is a mess. So sorry about that. Um, so I want to start with showing Abby's. So hers is about how she likes moving, but sometimes feels scared of the uh, virus, it seems like. So luckily, though, I checked with Abby, and uh, she is getting exercise. So make sure you get some exercise, because that's also important for your health. Uh, so Caleb has a really cool one, Pac-Man. I showed you another Pac-Man video last week. Caleb's is also really awesome. Check out that way he did each of those dots, all in Google Slides. Each one of those dots took another slide to make. So Caleb just did a really superb job with his uh, Pac-Man video. And I wanted to give a shout out for Caleb for the like, just kindest and most understanding comments in the Google Forms. Um, so shout out to you for just that virtue, Caleb. Uh, now Shadera had a pretty sweet movie too. She just had a video of a couple of friends playing, which I thought was beautiful. So I loved to see Shadera's movie. Um, and. Chloe had a movie, which, kind of like Abby's, shows that we need to, um, even during this time, think about our health. So, make sure you just don't binge eat uh, potato chips, or else you could go from being the healthiest person in the world to the least healthy person in the world. So, make sure you watch your diet. Uh, eat healthy foods, fruits, vegetables, all those good things. Now, Lorenzo's, I gotta say, when I first saw Lorenzo's, I said, Lorenzo, did you understand this assignment? You're not supposed to just grab a picture from online. You're supposed to make your own pictures. And then I realized, no, wait. That weird thing is actually his own picture. That thing is made up entirely with shapes and cool slides. I thought it looked so good to me that I figured, oh, this has to be just something from the internet that Lorenzo got. No, he made that. So props to you, Lorenzo, for surprising me making me realize that your thing was way more creative than I first gave you credit for. So, awesome job, Lorenzo. I couldn't believe that that thing was made entirely out of shapes in Google Slides. I thought, no, that has to be something from the internet. Nope, Lorenzo made that. Nice job. Uh, so, let's move on from the Google Slides animations to uh, the stop motion animations, which there was a lot of awesome ones came in. Those took a while to make, I think. So they came in a little slower and I didn't see them all before. But I saw some awesome Google uh, or, um, stop motion animations. So let's start with John. John made two. And he had Legos building their own house in stop motion, which is just awesome. Like, think about how much work that takes to get every Lego to hold the piece and to carry it over. John put a lot of work into this, and it turned out beautiful. So John, like, yeah, nice job. And John didn't make just one video. John made two videos. I could not believe this. But check out John's second video, which continues. The house has been built, and then people drive up to it in a car. It's so awesome. And then a robot arrives. So John's video is so creative and awesome. I couldn't believe it. Um, so nice job, John. Um, now Luke had a cool little video. He had two turtles kind of wrestling with each other. So he did a really good job of making very small movements and trying to keep the camera steady. So those are things which make stop motion videos turn out especially well if you keep the camera steady and make small movements. And Luke does a superb job of both of those aspects. Uh, let's see. Natalie found another kind of animation uh, program. I think it was an app on an iPad maybe that I didn't know about. Uh, so she found something and learned it on her own. So props to you, Natalie, for finding a different way to do the assignment that you learned all on your own. Um, 
let's check out the next one, which is from Vincent. So he had a cool little slideshow. Uh, it wasn't exactly a stop motion because it, you know, wasn't fast and going with that, but it was cool because it was a killer whale eating fish. Uh, so Vincent was pretty awesome. I liked how he had all these pictures one after the other of the killer whale moving around and trying to eat the fish. You can see he caught some. So nice job, Vincent. That was pretty cool. Um, let's move on to Bella Sophia. Hers was pretty awesome. She got some Barbies. And uh, she had the Barbies. And, oh, look at that. That was really cool how she picked up the dog. And oh, I love how she jumps into the car from the window. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, and those Barbies get into the car. And then the car drives away. So I thought that was really well done from Bella Sophia. So wonderful job, Bella Sophia. Now let's check out a couple more stop motion movies. These ones are both pretty ridiculously awesome. So this one's from Kevin. Let's check it out. Look at that. I love how the blocks move in from all the sides. They crawl in like they're alive or something. It's so much fun. <laughs> Waves. This is a cameo of his by the, uh, the director and producer of this video himself. And this is probably my favorite part of this movie. Great job, Kevin. That was pretty ridiculously awesome. So awesome job. Uh, let's check out one, uh, or yeah, one more stop motion video. So this one's from Kai. Now, Kai's is just so amazing. You're going to have to watch this uh, because he did so many things which are just really difficult to do in stop motion. But he fa figured out ways to do it. Good special effects and everything. So check it out. He has a plane flying. Can anyone tell how he did that? I was at first like, what? You can't do flying things in stop motion, and then I think I think I figured out how he did it. But I was blown away by how awesome that is. Check out how he changed camera angles there. That was really cool. Oh yeah, that's so awesome. Yeah, that's so cool how the shield goes there. And then this part is the best. Oh, like, does a somersault on the wing? How do you do that, guy? That's amazing. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Kai put a lot of work into that video, and it paid off. That was a sweet video. I'm not even going to watch the Avengers anymore. I'm just going to watch Kai's video over and over again, I'll repeat, because it was that good. Uh, and I want to show you one more last video, which is really cool, especially because it wasn't even for an assignment. And newly made this video on her own and uh, I wanted to say I know a lot of you um, I saw in both the time when I asked about video games and last time after I did Minecraft said Mr. Rice you should do Roblox well I don't know anything about Roblox but Anuli made this in Roblox Studio which she learned all on her own um, it's a way where you can create things for Roblox and uh, yeah, look at how much work she put in. This looks exactly like Mrs. Posner's classroom because there was actually always a stack of workbooks just like that. And there's all the bouncy balls and it looks so much like the real thing. I always went in there every Thursday and yeah, I felt right at home when I saw this video. Uh, Visa Newley did a superb job of recreating Mrs. Posner's classroom in 3D, even with the closet and everything. So, and what, what made this even more amazing to me was not just how well Anuli did everything, but that this was just a self-motivated project. She just decided, I'm going to make this. So that is my challenge to you all for the summer, is I want to see you all make some really cool creative things over the summer. It doesn't have to be on a computer. It can be art, uh, which I know Ms. Schneider teaches you all about. It can be music. Oh, I should put that in there. But Luke D'Souza had an amazing uh, piano piece that he did. Uh, he create, like he composed it on his own. It was not um, a real, like, or, it is a real song, but it's a song that he made, not an existing song. He made up his own song on piano. I've made some songs for you lately. I should play them for you at some point. Uh, but yeah, so my challenge for you for the summer is one, get some exercise, go outside. Two, do awesome creative things like you all are already doing. Um, so I hope you have a wonderful, creative, and 
uh, adventurous summer, um, and I hope to see you all in the fall. So thanks for a wonderful year. This is my first year teaching, so I got a lot to learn, um, but I hope that next year we'll be able to do some awesome things together in computer class. So have a great summer, and goodbye.